Good afternoon. I'm Charlie Cahoon, Extension Weed Specialist at North Carolina State University. And what we're standing in right here is a actually a cover crop project initiated by NRCS and Wrangler. Um, so this is a project looking at cotton, and Wrangler is particularly interested in sustainability of cotton for the future and, and producing a more sustainable crop. So we know all the wonderful benefits of cover crops, but our biggest issue is getting growers on board with that in the state. So the biggest part of this is to put these demo plots throughout the state on farm so growers can come to a, a plot in their local area and see the benefits of cover crops. Um, as far as my work is concerned, I've been looking at the weed control. Uh, we know that rye is great for in the south for biomass production and for suppression of the summer uh, species like pigweed. But one thing I, I think gets lost with a lot of folks is the benefit we get from competing with these summer, or excuse me, these winter annual weeds. So in a plot in the northeast part of the state, we had averaged about eight or nine mare's tail per square meter in our non-rye uh, plots. And in our rye plots where we had that cover crop competing with that mare's tail throughout the season, we averaged about one or less than one per square meter. Not only were they less mare's tail, but there was also the mare's tail in the rye cover crop plots were much smaller. And we know that we have complications with 2,4-D on large mare's tail control. When it gets a little bit bigger, it's a lot tougher to bring down with 2,4-D. And what we've seen is where we've had these cover crops integrated into the system, we can get by with uh, that pint rate of 2,4-D instead of having to go into a court. So it's actually reducing the rate of 2,4-D that we can use in that early burn down if we get out early enough because those mare's tail are much smaller and much easier to deal with. And overall, that just helps us from a resistance management standpoint standpoint going after the smaller weeds versus those larger ones that are more difficult to control with our chemical herbicides. So again, we're not talking about abandoning residual herbicides uh, completely. These cover crops work really well in tandem with our residuals, especially with something like pigweed. And you'll notice if you uh, take a, a shot of these plots, you'll see much less pigweed in these rye plots versus the plots that did not have a cover crop. And today, or yesterday was actually the first time this cotton got a post-emergent spray and there's a vast difference in the pigweed in these plots.